Hello, everyone. Welcome to the IWF online Wushu classroom. Today we have Mr. Zheng Jiaojian here in our live Zoom to deliver a class of Changquan for Beginners Part 1. Mr. Zheng is a world Wushu Talu champion. Now let's welcome Mr. Zheng to start his class. Mr. Zheng, can you hear us? I can start? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, everyone here? Okay, great. Um, so let's just start. Welcome to uh, the Changquan Longfist classroom. Thank you for IWUF offer this opportunity for me to teach uh, as well for you to learn. So um, today we'll be to learning some lung fist. So the lung fist, as you know, um, is uh, all about, um, you know, stunches and pants and cake, all those basics. And after as you're training, so we put them together as a combination and the winner will have the, the form. The style of a long face is have a beautiful big movement and it's really smooth, it's graceful. Um, so today I will present you mostly as a request and probably uh, more for beginners. So let's do more uh, basics. So I want to tell you a couple about um, um, the hand technique. And then I will show you a couple of uh, uh, training way of uh, the stunches. Then we can to put them together and to do some combination. That's for the first uh, first class. So next week we will have a next one. We will be do more, right? Okay, so let's start this attention. Um, Okay, yeah, so I used to, to teach in life. When I say 同学们好, mean is hi, student. So you should answer 老师好. 老师好 mean is hi, teacher. So let's do a simple warm up and then we start, we start from there, right? So cross your finger and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and we switch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great. Okay, let's work up your knee. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Great. So go up and down a little bit. All right. So put a hand on your waist and to make the circle go. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, A, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. Okay, great. So let's do arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, and go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. Okay, great. So open your arm. So let's cross, touch your toes. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. Okay, great. So let's go your, actually your right side, okay? So we do a little bit of stretching. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. And we go other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A. Okay, great. So let's do drop stance. This side, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So today, mostly we will be offering you more um, the hand technique. So we don't do uh, that much stretching. So we want to, you're really coming one hour to training one hour. Useful, right? So. We do a little stretching, so knee together and your heel together. So we do a little bit stretching like this, right? Right, we just sit down. Okay, 
the same time, I want you stretching your finger a little bit because we do a lot of punches and palms later. So I like to close to computer, more camera, so you can see more clear, right? So once you go, uh, cut your finger like this way, and you really try a stretch, right? So finding them. Okay, great. Right, and then you can stretch in this way. And you see your palm look beautiful, right? Okay, great. The same way we do our other side. Okay, I cannot see done. All right, so once you're stretching your fingers so you can move your wrist. All right, so the first thing we do, we just stay in this position to stretching your ankles and also we're learning slowly to know how to, uh, how to do the punch and the palm, right? For long fist, okay, attention. I'm um, ready, so put your both hand on your wrist. So this is your right hand, so you go a punch. We do really slow, so you come in out of your pants and you rotate and you make a power once you go the pants, right? So the same way, right? Okay, I saw reading Eric there, huh? good. So once your pants coming back and your right hand rotate out, twist and punch, which is the power. So very important, once you make your fist to your hand, to make your fist a flat and to squeeze your fingers right there and on top and tight. Why? Because this is the right technique. So once your hand goes to everywhere, you might injure your fingers. The same way for the palm, I'll talk to you about later, right? So let's just do slow and then we can add speed, little by little. Okay, go one, and rotate your hand and the power of the last point and rotate one, two, and punch. Okay, great. And you do again. Boom. Yep. And again. Right. And again. And do more faster. Boom. And go. And two. Great. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And finish. And bow. All right. So a little relax and shake off. Okay. And after we will be to do the push palm. It's the same way, but we do the palm, right? Okay. Little relax and move your um, your neck. Okay. Let's do slow the same way. So ready? Put your double hand close your waist, right? Finger together, your shot right there. So you rotate out, twist, and you go push. Right? Great. And then you're coming back the same way like you do the punches. Now you become pump. So very important, your fingers and together firm, strong, right? And twist and you go push and come back and you go push. Okay, great. Good job. Okay, let's do a little more. One and two and three and four and five. Uh, six, uh, seven, uh, eight. All right. Okay. Put the hand back and hand stop. And bow. Okay. Great. Eric and, and Raiden there. They are my students. Okay. Great work. So I want to tell the common problem when beginners to learning long fist, to learning the basic punch and basic palm. The most common problem, a lot of people, they are loud love what they do they really give a lot of power they want to give strong and good speed and good power but sometimes what they do they can be the power they give so much energy you see that so so your your shoulder are gonna be too tight your arm too tight all power is right there but this doesn't really give you good speed and that really doesn't really give you good power so if you want to show good punch and palm, so you must 
relax your shoulder, relax your arm actually, but not really loose up, but still tight, but all power is right here. So this point. So once you go a punch or a pump, yeah, once you do this, you say, so what can give you good speed? Actually, when your shoulder relax and that's go. So that's give you better speed than on this, right? Okay, so so just just uh, uh, pay attention, right? We can to do the right and do the right technique. Very good. So the next things we're gonna to do a double punch and double palm and double hook hand. So this is the basics for wushu hand technique for long fist. Okay, attention and ready. Okay, and double punch, go one. Right, very good. And come back to your waist, become palm. And flat both sides and go up. And two on the top. Okay, great. So when you go down, you go hurt hand. Very good. And come back to your waist. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, repeat again. Go one. And two. And go three. And go four and five. Let's do three more. Okay, my student, let's do it. One to get more speed and power. And two up and work at duck. Two more. Okay, go one and two up and duck and come back. Go one, two, three, four, five. And hands down and bow. All right. Okay, I got a little swipe, actually. <laughs> Yeah, that's how it's a training. Stay focused, do the right technique, always. So many of uh, my students are, for the years I training, for years I teaching, the experience to tell me a lot of uh, students, the beginners, to start with, no matter long face, start with uh, wushu training. So once they just apply the movement, they just do learning the movement, and they say, oh, I'm enough. I already know this form. I needed to learn next form. And that learning next form, they just got movement. They say, oh, I needed to promote it. I want to go a next level. Actually, that is a big wrong. So, so every movement has the quality. So you should to do the good basics. So those training take years of training. So don't forget, you have to training thousand times to become better Kung Fu than you do thousand moves, only training one time for each move. Then you never get strong, the right technique, the good Wushu, right? Okay, let's do again to put more focus and speed and power for what we did, right? Attention. And ready? Okay, punch right, one, and two, and three, and four. Okay, great. So now we just cross your hand and come back. We push palm, one, and two, and three, and four. Okay, great, and come back your waist. We do double, so give a double power, one, and two, and go up, and go down. And put hand back, and hands down, and bow. Okay, great work. So from here, I still can see you. Ready, you did good work. So let's talk about the hook hand. So you know how to do the punch. We must be flat and push pump the power out on this side. So how you do the, the strong, powerful pump. So now we do the hook hand. So let's open your hand, right? Five fingers open. So you make the four fingers all together and the thumb just right between middle and come back like this way. So that's right, strong, beautiful front hand, right? The go so do it. So when you see a lot martial arts, I mean wushu moes, so you saw how they use the hook hand mostly it's very dangerous. They can poke your eye. Or they poke your height, yeah? And use this side, and they can attack your neck, right? So put that intention into your training will make the looking really different. It will looking right, 
looking strong because every move behind every move they have an intention so you must be curious so why you're doing this move why you doing this pass why you blocking so why you doing this hand so because every move must be have an intention that's why uh this is how wushu coming from right or all martial arts so put this way always to put that intention when you do blocking that is something you are for a, a soft defense like this right some attack you of course you need to give that speed or power if not you get hate simply like that the same thing if you threw a punch you should think you are talking you fight back if you just give a movement everybody can apply movement but only the one who are apply the movement with your intention and that will be looks strong and but it is strong right okay great work so let's do a little bit more with the hand technique then we'll be do a, some stances right thank you very much so a little shake off and relax all right attention um ready okay the first move you do you go double palm so we do slow and you twist and you go whoo, this way right great and then you go block by this way to your left side so this way if someone really go punch you go mm, block so that's how you go that's so must be like same and go like with your head and protect your head right okay good and then you gotta go boom punch this way punch right okay great and then you go switch back you go boom, push palm left and then you switch and punch right okay great so once you twist back and then you go boom, arable so on front of you great and then you go the shoulder and you go all the way up and you go push down so both hands go up and you go arable okay we finished right there and um, bow this is the first part of uh, the long face basics mostly is a hand technique i don't even stand up because that's the easy way you can watch me very clear so I can really show you, so you can see the details, how to do those movements. So we practice. Remember, every move, behind every move, had that intention, put that intention with your movement that always look real, right? So let's do again with good speed, power, and focus. All right. So do again, a tush. And ready? Okay, and go double pump. Right? And go pluck. Right? So you notice the hand sway, so we just go mm, block, right? And then you gotta go at punch right. And you push pump. Remember? And two. Okay, great. And you go arable. Nice. And then you go ooh, one and two go up and go go down nice and double hand circle go back and you go mm, arable and hands down and bow okay let's repeat a little bit more so you will be have better memory for the movement so the next class will be adding for those stunts and kicks as must be much easier so that's the experience how i teach online class so first lie your student to understand the movement with the details, your hand and directions, and then you put your stanches, and then you can put kicks, and you can do everything after will be how much easier this way. So let's do a little bit more. A twist. And ready? So make start, open your leg. So you go one. Great. And two. And you go punch. 
And you go pump left and pump right. Okay, come back, arable. Okay, great. And touch your shoulder. And you go up and push down and double hand. Go circle and power arable. And finish and bow. Okay, let's do again. You did great. I can see you. So let's do again. Ready? Okay, start. Okay, put more power and focus. One. And go two. And go three. Yeah, pump. Pump. And herbal. And shoulders. You go up. You go down. Double hand. Open. And boom. Power. And finish. And bow. Okay, great work. Very nice. Okay, I can see uh, my student right there and how they do. So relax your uh, arm a little bit, sick off, refresh, and then we got to go to a nice part. So I want to tell you, uh, just in this part, they have a couple move is for self defense. Like why I do the move to touch my shoulder. Why I go circle around and go down? Because if someone touch my shoulder, so got head, oh, yeah, actually, Emily right there, right? Kayo, come here, come here, just help me a little bit, okay? Yeah, I think most people know this is Emily Jen, it's my daughter, so she's here to help me, to help me for uh, that. Okay, so we go a little back, we don't need a knee down, so just, uh, Grabbing my shoulder, right, right there, right? Yeah, grabbing the shoulder. So someone grabbing your shoulder, so that's the move you go, like how we do in the form. So apply to the self-defense, you go one, and that's how the arm go up, and you go, and you go down, right? Then you can really broken someone's arm. But so if you put this intention, then you know why you have to get the power. You go, boom, that speed, right? because that's really useful. Okay, great. Let's do a little bit, uh, I mean, conditioning. Okay, jumping jack. Let's do 15 times. Uh, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, that's great work. Okay, Eric and uh, Raiden, you're doing great. So now we're going to do the horse dance and ball stand, the two stances for this class. So next class, we'll be learning a much more, a little bit more challenge. So let's, let's start it. Okay, attention. And ready? So you make a step, all right? So you make a step, the same size like your shoulder, and you make a little bigger, almost like a one and a half. So your both toes must be straight. That is horse stance, I mean four horse stance, right? And then I want you to do a double punch, all right? And you keep your back straight and chin up, go lower, 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 lower. Great, that is the perfect level flat. And then your both knees go outside, right there. So stay 10 seconds for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stand up. Um, bow. Okay, great. Let's do jumping jack 10 times. Sit calm. Got energy up. Keep excited. Good. 10 times. Oh, Arnie, you're here. <laughs> okay, very nice, very nice. Okay. So let's do the same horse dance with some punches. What, what, what do we just did learning, right? So let's do that. Attention. Um, ready? To make one step and a half, make a good stance and double pump and go down, right? And come back and punch one and two and three and four and cross your hand and come back. And go push pump one, two, three, four, and cross and come back and double one and two up and down and come back and stand up and fit together. Uh, hands down and bow. 
Okay, great work. Yeah, I got you guys training. So let's do this one. Let's do 15 times. Go. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, nice work. Augustin, Arnie. Okay, let's do 20 times jumping left and right. Okay, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> okay, okay, great work. All right, so let's do one last time and we move on both stands, okay? Stand up and touch it. And ready. And you go, stop. Right? And you go, punch one. And two. And three. And go, hug. And cross, come back. Go one. And two. And three. And go, hug. One, two. And go, one, two. And go, up. And you go, down. And fit together. Uh, hands down, um, bow. All right, great work. So let's get a little water. I need a little water, and then we come back to do more. Thank you, I had a water break. Can I, can I really open and say that more? So this is a one. Yeah. Oh, Alexis is here. I don't know, but I cannot see them, huh? right? But only people, they are souls, right? So, so far, any suggestions for me? Do you think this is too easy for you or we should to uh, give you a little more challenge that basically I teaching this class, the first class more is about for beginner, like a really, really beginning. So I want to know the correct punch, correct palm, port hand and port stance and bow stance, something like that, right? So I know a lot of you have been training Wushu probably for years. So you might um, want to do a little bit more, right? So you can text me or you can, it's okay. They can open microphone, the Shirley. I think it's okay. Uh, yeah, there's some oh. well feedback from our fans and very good training, good job for you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So maybe if they are okay, I give them a, just a little bit more like combination, a little challenge because um, because they already have all right, that's great. Thank you. Why do you don't open their radio? Okay, everyone, let's restart. So let's do uh, some combinations, right? So it's a great chance. So if you've been training Wushu for, um, you know, a couple years or a little bit or someone um, maybe just started. So I want to teach you start step by step for first few moves and then you can to adding this speed, right? So to getting, um, and for someone already been training Wushu for longer time, it's a great chance you review those knowledge and the technique, all right? Okay, so let's stand up, let's do this, okay. So let's do some cake we call front stress, uh, front slap kick. So, and also I call that Superman kick, right? Attention, and ready, put the arm up. So let's do six times, right? So you just go front and you go kick and you go down. So you touch, throw, you slap on the top. 
Good. And four. And six. And seven. All right. That's not hard at all, right? Very nice. Okay. That's great. So let's do another five times with the hand and slap. Okay. Come back. Position. Right? So you got your left arm open and your right open, right? So you go put together. And you go boom, slap kick. That's great. Two, four, and do a sunk one. You say one, two, right? Right? And you go one, two. That's great. Actually, I do mirror side and I go this side. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. So let's do this again. With, I'm facing to this way, so easier to follow me, so you can see clear, right? So go this way. So let's go left hand and right. So you go one, two, and you open big straight. So I give you a little angle, 45. So arm go this way, and arm open, and twist this way, and you go drop stance, right? And you go left hand right there, and you go punch up, boom, and high snap this way. Yep. I believe most people know this move, right? If you don't know, you can let me know. I can do slow motion for you. Wow. Nice job. Raiden. Yes, Eric and Eric. Okay. So let's do this. Just follow me. Wow. Ernie, you do great. Oh, Jaden. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, Jojo can do it too. Okay, so just open arm. I know this is uh, just basics, but I can help you to review. Let's do this. Okay, open your arm, right? So I'm your mirror. So you're supposed to go your right hand, okay? This is your right hand. So you go one, go this way, and straight, and up, and flop, and do this, and same from behind. Always stay the good line straight. And you go down and right, that's perfect. Okay, let's do a couple more. Get this correct. So your right hand and go down first, one and two flat, and go up and flat. And you continue your left hand, go this way, and your right hand rotate and go. Perfect. Okay, let's do a few more to help the little ones. The beginners get this move. Then we can do the combination, right? Okay. And go. One. Right hand. And two. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. Right? And after you put your right hand. Left hand. And go. Boom. And up. Right? Has that. Okay. That's great. Perfect. All right, so one last time, I want to see you how to do it. Okay. Ready? Open your arm. Okay, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you go down. Very good. And you go left hand, you go right hand, and high step, which is strong looking. Perfect. All right. Okay, so I don't need to check someone already knew this move. But I want to check the little ones who are don't know. So maybe you can show me, yeah? Okay, Jojo, you ready? Jojo, can you show me slowly? Just for that move. Nice. Uh-huh, almost. Yeah. Left hand. Mm. Left hand and right. How is it, everyone? The big hand. Very good. Okay, Arnie, can you show me as well? What? Oh, that's great speed, huh? Eh? So how old? I said only about five, six, yeah? Very nice. So Eric, can you show me? One, two, three, one, two. Yay. Wow, that's a, not just the, have the good speed, but also the line arm straight. That's really nice. Okay, so let's, do all together a few times so we can move on, right? Okay, so let's do this. I got follow me. I'm back to you, okay? Go this way. So we're adding bigger movement, 
and we're adding more speed each time we do. That's attrition, right? So we go one and two, right? And then we go kick, really open big, and arm one, two, three, duck, and go one, two. Okay, that's great. Look like everybody knows this move, right? Okay, so the technique, you might already been training, but you just need to pay attention. So once you go the right kick, once you go boom, the kick, remember, we have to twist and open your hip to make it really big. And that's just beautiful, right? Okay, yeah, I saw um, Augustine already did. Okay, good. So you go, shoom, really open. And then you can do arm well with your uh, relaxed arm and speed. That's beautiful, right? Aiden, good. Okay, how about this? So let's go this way. So we do three more times. They're getting better speed, better speed, and better speed. Okay, attention. Right, go hammer. One, two, and go. One, two, and go. One, two. Okay. Nice. Okay, second time. Attention. Facing to this way. Okay, let's do hammer. Go. One, two, hammer. And go. One, two. Big kick. One, two, three. One, two. Right. Okay, good. So remember that move like a wind, stop like a picture. So understand that. So give me strong picture. So once you do the pose, you have to stay still, not move at all. And your eye have to stay big eye. Huh? The Jing Qi Shen. Okay, Eric, can you show me just this picture with your Jing Qi Shen? Whoa, that's really strong. Great work. How about Arnie? Same, show me the last pose. Nice, yeah. How about uh, Jaden? Show me the last post. Strong with your big eye. Uh -huh. Okay, the lighting is a little hard to see, but I can feel the power from you. Huh? Okay, really great. Okay, let's do a one more section. So, oh yeah, I want to say Augustine. Let's see how Augustine do. Nice, boom, one, two, very nice. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so I want you guys to do another combination. Follow me, attrition. Okay, I do mirror, so normally this is your right hand, right? So go, your right hand up, and this is the left hand, and then you go knee, left, you go one, hammer, and horse stance, and come back, your waist become palm, and go, double palm, Right, and then you make the circle, and then you make the circle, and then we saw the outside kick. That's it. Okay, great. Let's just repeat this move again. So I go this way with you, so you can follow me. Right. So you go right hand left, and you lift. Go what? And horse stance and pump, come back and pump. Right. So you go your right hand small, and you big, and you step, and you go shoot. Then you cross your hand, straight, and face, hasta. Wow, Arnie can do this. Okay, great. So do slow mode a couple times with me. All right. Right hand, left, and you lift. Go one, and two, and one, two. Go slow, one, two, and two, one, two. Okay, you guys are learning really quick. One more time. Okay, attrition. I go up and go up, two, one, two, one, two, three, go, one, two. Any questions so far? You're good? Okay, who 
don't understand this move or you can do by yourself. Okay, okay, Juju. All right, Juju, you want to show? Okay, let's see from uh, Augustin. Augustin, can you show, boom, just this move? Wow. All right, how is it? I think that's pretty good. Okay, Augustin, really nice. That speed, really smooth and nice pose. So can you give me a, just a little bit of rhythm? You know the rhythm? Move like a wind and start like picture. So your height should to always follow your action. So this is the hand and follow. You see, go left and go right and go down and open and left and right. You see, my head always changes. So that's look make big difference for long face, Chang Quan. So can you do one more time? Be careful your eye where you're watching. Very important. Go, one, two. Okay, I follow us. Nice. Yes. A little stop. Okay, I saw most of it, just the last post that I missed, but great, much better. So how about anyone else want to show your move right here? All right. Okay, Arnie, you want to try? Okay, Raiden, can you show me what we just training? Do you know these parts? Combination? Yes, one, two, right. I had to tell, that is the first time how you're learning. That's why this class for, just for if you are beginner, if you not know this move, and then we offer you the chance to training, it's great. Okay, anyone else? Arnie, hey, try your best. Whoa, how say the army did great, very good job. Okay, the time flies very quick. So I have a two more move I want you to uh, to give to you, right? To uh, to teach you. So one is a balance, one is a little jumping. And uh, you know, this is so far still is for beginner. So I don't want to go out of the line. So follow me, everybody knows, right? We start, Balance, we have many kind of balance. We have a uh, knee lift, we have a uh, ko tui ping heng, we have a uh, yan si ping heng. So let's do the ko tui ping heng. Um, I mean, find your leg behind you. So let's follow me, okay? Everybody, attention. All right, so I want you to do a hammer. Everybody knows, right? Hammer. Good. And let's really stand up from both sides. I want you to step your right, right, front, and then your left feet just behind. And take kind of like a bow, and slowly, and go down, and go down, and go down, and go down. I hold good balance. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, so let's shake off and do a couple of times. So very important, everyone, Watch me, once you make step, your left leg to your left leg has to be right behind, right there. Where, right the joint of your right leg. So once you go down, actually you go low, you see? That can be like you sit on your feet. So that still help you to keep balance, right? Okay, let's do slow a couple more times. That we see you. Uh, okay. Right, go, hammer. <laughs> nice. So you stand, you right, and put your life behind you, and you take bow and go down. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's pretty good. You guys are learning quick. 
Okay, small note, the trick is once you do balance, you must be focused, your eye stay one point, right? So if you do any balance, your eye to was around, you go, and your last balance, very easy, right? So very important, stay focused in one spot. No matter what in your home, you have one uh, cup or uh, some picture, all right, so stay focused on that point, hold, and then with naturally press, relax. So that help you. Okay, so let's check how, how you're doing. Who wants show me? Eric wants show me? Okay, great one. Two, three, four, five. Okay, great work. Stay strong, back straight, but Eric doesn't look great for first time. How you do it? Okay, anyone else? Arnie, go. Okay, nice. One, two, three, four. Four, 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 four. Okay, very good, Arnie. I think you can do 20 and 30, even longer. Very nice. Okay, anyone else? Juju, you want to try? No, why not? <laughs> that's a scare. Okay, anyone else? Okay, Raiden, that's great. Perfect. Three, four, and five. Yes, you're good. You're good. I, I know you can do longer. Um, okay, Jaden, Jayo. All right. Hey, Jaden. All right, that's good. Jaden, relax, you say. This one, I know there are many ways to do this balance. Once you do this one, your focus, your eye and your hand should be stay front of you, right? Like you take a ball and your eye just stay, you know, look far, stay at one point and don't move and hold it. So don't try to go the side way. So we have the way to do side, but not in this, this, this movement, right? Can you do it again? Just stay focused and stay your hand on front, right? Ciao. Back sway. Sway. Four. Five. Okay, great. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anyone else right here? Everyone else look at the block. I can see the face. <laughs> All right. So we got to, oh, we have a Juju one to do it, right? Ciao, Juju. Show me. Five, four, three, three, two, two, one. Okay, Jojo is really not bad either, right? So Jojo, so don't try to lean your body front. You try to stay straight. That will be always help you, right? Great. Okay, guys. So we use this opportunity to training uh, something a little bit more. I want you to do the last movement we need to do is the jumping outside kick stationary. You guys probably already knew in class someone. So let's to review this technique. All right. Okay. To get up and training, everyone. Oh, I needed to get this a little bit. Right, so the first move is very simple as I said. So if you want to do good jumping outside cake, you need to have a good outside cake, yes. But the first important thing, you have to stay straight. So you cannot to a lean left and right, front and back, stay straight. So let's do this, everyone. So put your right hand on top of your left like this. Naturally, you just do squats and stand up. 
and to make a jump straight. No lean anywhere, right? So let's do five times, relax. All you need to do, jump straight. Okay, follow me. Ready? And go down and up. Okay, great. Very nice. You can use your hand, but not much left and right. It's more go down and up. All right, couple more. Ready? Go down and jump. Yes. Very nice. Three more. Ready? Go down and jump. Okay, great. Let's do two more. Go down and jump. Very important, Jojo, you don't jump. Mm, open your stomach. <laughs> no. Okay. So what well, last time you did it, right? Okay. I know you can do the filter. You can do maybe 720, but don't try, don't hurry to do your right thing. Okay. With me, only do the half turn, right? So I do this way easier. If you like to, you can do too. But all I want to show you right here, okay? To so go down straight. When you jump and enter, 180. I just need a 180. I know you can do more, but you gotta stay right. Why? I want you to jump high you can, to stay straight you can, because that gotta be help you long term. You do too quick, rotate too much, you fall. You're not gonna straight. Okay, Jaden, understand 180 only? 180. All that better, actually. Okay, we have to do one at a time, okay? Because you might not see yourself. So you know why? Okay, let's just say ox single first. Right, but can you do again to jump high you can? Only 180, because that's the way you can keep better balance. Nice, that's great, Ernie. <laughs> See, if you want to twist it too much and or too quick, you lost balance. So stay the right technique. So jump straight first and then rotate less. Don't try jump too much. Okay. Uh, how about rhythm? Xiao to go down, jump and rotate. Jump high you can, stay straight as possible. Okay, that's pretty good. That's it. You just relax. Try one more time, try jump higher, jump higher, okay? Nice, okay, rhythm, that's pretty good. Can you, using your arm a little bit, but not much left and right, it's more go down and up. Better. All right, so anyone else? Okay, Jaden, show me. Jaden, to stay really straight, okay? Nice, very good, I like it. And uh, Eric, Jayo. <laughs> All right, so, oh, the time goes so quick. Let's go through this, okay? The next move, let's do this. You got to go your left hand, left hand on the top. So only move you do, just go kick and quick go down and that's it, yeah. The goal is right. What a speed you give with the cake, you give the same speed, go down and even faster, right? And then your height go up. That's the way it can help you do good jumping outside cake, right? Quick go down, yeah. Right, so, 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 uh, Raiden, you say, okay, right? This cake go down even quicker because once you go quicker, your leg and your height will go up. It will help you. That's perfect. All right, Jaden, stay focused. All right. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Don't hurry. Don't hurry to do the cake. Don't hurry to do the cake, right? Just do, right, just do the right thing. Very good, Augustine. Nice. Ernie. When you do cake, you say when your body lean just a little bit, if you rotate, you will be, you will be lost your balance. You will be lean too much already, okay? All right, so let's go this. 
Let's add the kick. So the first move, you want to go low, straight, and you jump high you can. So once you go kick, your body has to be stay straight as much as possible. And you don't want to rotate too much at the beginning because you can't last your balance and you're falling, right? So try just kick maybe quarter, right? Of you the kick. And you can land in 180, that's pretty good. So try really just go a down, a kick, a landing. So that is how you start, right? So try give a good kick, good balance. But once your body lean this way or this way, you will lose balance. Okay, getting better. Oh, Arnie, stay straight. Eric, stay straight. Okay, Augustin, that is, uh, looks better. Okay, great work. Okay, nice, nice. I think we might be do a little bit more this move in the next class. So I think we are the time about to finish. So everyone stay focused for the last couple minutes and thank you for coming. Great, great work. All right. So remember today, what are we learning? All basics, the punches, right? And the palm, you have to do always tight. Fingers together, tight your wrist, you're not gonna injure. Right technique as always. So the stunches we're learning, what stunches we're learning today? No one, Arnie? Okay, so you guys might, if you want to open the microphone, but okay. Yeah, you can open the microphone if you want to. That's called balance. I mean stunches, stunts. We're learning two stunts today. Who can tell me what are you learning? That's called balance. All right, so we're learning, we're learning horse stance, right? And the, oh, we didn't even go through the ball stance, I think. The horse stance. What is horse stance? Who can show me? Eric, show me the horse stance. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, right? Yes, so remember, we're learning the work hand, we're learning the palm, we're learning the punch, we're learning the hor uh, hor uh, horse dance, right? And also we did double punch, right? Palm, all those basics, and a little bit combination. So next class will be to learning the long face, half of that, right? So good work. I think we're about finish. Thank you, Mr. Zhu. And now the floor is open for our questions, QA time. If anyone oh, wants yes. to ask a question for Mr. Zhu, uh, please raise your hand by clicking the raising hand button at the right bottom of your screen. Any question? Any question for me? Oh, you guys are good students. <laughs> I don't like questions. <laughs> okay, here are two feedbacks. All says that, uh, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. We can see the screen is full of thank you from Mr. Zeng here, from our fans. Okay, thank here, you. Yeah. Yeah, also thank we have some feedback offer. from YouTube, YouTube live chat. All, all says that, thank you. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much and yeah, uh, to offer the opportunity for me. Uh, I think it's great because it's the uh, because the coronavirus, a lot of people still, they can't to do regular activity. So mostly they stay home. Um, the IWUF offered this opportunity for people coming to learning uh, Wushu online and I can have the chance to teach. Um, my honor. I have. I feel very happy. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Mr. Jung. Thank you for the excellent class. Before we finish the class, here's the forecast for our next class. Uh, on Friday, same time, that is 10 a.m. Beijing time, we will have Mr. Muhammad Reza Pahlami Nejad to uh, uh, come to our live Zoom to, del to deliver the class standard competition rules that athletes and coaches need to know part two. And Mr. Zhong will come to meet us again next Wednesday uh, for the remaining half class that is Changjuan for Be Beginners part two. So everyone, goodbye. See you on next class. Bye-bye. See you next class. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.